Johnny Evans has an impact on Manchester United beyond his assist at Burnley. In a must-win game at Burnley, Man United won and the presence of Johnny Evans was more vital than anyone could have predicted. Johnny Evans first started for Manchester United at Turf Moor as a 21-year-old in Burnley's first-ever Premier League win. It remains their last on home turf against United. If of Evans in an unpredictable United 11 was portentous, he did his utmost to avoid a humbling akin to 2009. He had a goal disallowed and created Bruno Fernandes winner just as the fourth official had taken his seat after signaling added time for the first half. Evans, now 35, has always been a better footballer than a defender and he was once entrusted with left-back duties in a cup final by Sir Alex Ferguson. It was Evans' left foot that picked out Fernandez with an airborne pass that flew at least 30 yards. For the first time in his career, Evans was serenaded by United fans, inheriting Gary Neville's chant, Johnny Evans is a red, he hates Scousers. He ended the night waving to the song like a rock star leaving the stage. This was the transcendent Evans' third United start at Turf Moor under three managers 14 years apart. Though denied a first United goal in almost a decade, his selection in their 11 for the first time since March 2015 was the fuzzy feel-good story the club had been yearning for. Any win would have sufficed to repair the cracked badge and United arrived at Burnley in challenging circumstances and with a team selection that was in danger of undermining the manager. In a must-win, United won. Evans was not as contentious a recall as Scott McTominay, who literally failed to run against Bayern Munich 72 hours earlier. Promoting Hannibal Medjbri to the starting 11 was also left field, though he was an intense presence to pit against Burnley's defensive technicians and complemented the late breakaways. There are still pressing issues for Eric Ten Hag to address and he only will when United's injury list eases. A fully fit Rafael Varane and Safian Amrabat would have walked out onto the pitch rather than sat on the bench and there is the imminent return of Mason Mount for next week's doubleheader with Crystal Palace. Marcus Rashford can no longer be assured of undroppable status. He was erratic again and the deafening and sharp rendition of Alejandro Garnacho's chant was a call for his arrival midway through the second half. Garnacho remained unused. United seldom have it easy at Burnley and they survived a fraught period when Zeki Amdouni was denied by Andre Onana and then the post with the scoreline goalless. In the 76th minute, Onana concisely conversed with Evans and Victor Lindelof and suddenly McTominay, Casemiro and Diogo Dalit were vocal. Such strategising has been absent from United this season. Their sheet stayed clean. The United players were brilliantly backed by a raucous away end with a conveniently located watering hole at the cricket club behind the Barnfield construction stand. Eight minutes were on the clock when they rocked to, we want Glazers out, while Amrabat nearly warmed up and became the latest player to be serenaded to the tune of Baby Give It Up by KC and the Sunshine Band. Such support was inevitable for this nocturnal fixture and the positioning of the away end at Turf Moor amplified the country's noisiest away dares. James Trafford never played for Manchester City's first team and was not spared chance of City reject. As full-time loomed, they reminded their detractors that, Man United will never die. It has been a period that has warranted the chance inclusion in the matchday playlist and the evening ended with a rendition of, Oh, United we love you. The players owed the matchgoers one. The majority in the third tier at the Allianz Arena stayed and applauded a dignified defeat and any unrest at United has come from a minority of players. For all the grit, there was the guile of Fernandez. His goal was the United captain at his optimum. Fernandez had an earlier and easier sighter that Trafford repelled and the goal had faint shades of Wayne Rooney teeing up Robin Van Persie the night United were last crowned as champions. Again, Fernandez had a profound impact despite his repositioning as he shifted to the right to accommodate Medjbri on only his second start. Fernandez had a more constructive conflab with the 20-year-old than some of his recent outbursts. Rashford selfishly shot on one occasion and Fernandez offered encouraging applause rather than a rebuke. 
In the 77th minute, Evans earned a foul inside his area and was high-fived by Lindelof and Sergio Reguilon. However low-level Evans' career has been since he left Old Trafford, he hails from a winning culture at United and there are too few of them in the existing squad. He made a difference.